system dies. This is a pine that looks like a pine. So it just fell over, but wrenching the root and soil right out of the swamp. So it creates this little pool that during times of drought, sometimes these pools are an incredibly valuable source of water for fishes that would otherwise be stranded high and dry. When, um, so here's the fish I was trying to catch before. Uh -huh. Great. Called a mosquito fish, eastern mosquito fish. Lovely. He's a lovely fella, so we, the camera can pick him up trying easy. Trying to hang on, trying to get it back to you. <laughs> there. Great. And you may so. notice it looks a lot like a guppy. Yeah. This is the North American counterpart to the South American guppy. Oh, so it's the same species, yeah? Uh, same genus. Genus, yeah. And um, so the, the, oops, sorry, the male and female mosquito fish look like a female guppy. Mm -hmm. So they're in here so named because one of their favorite foods happens to be mosquito larvae. Ah. And we have mosquitoes pestering us now only because there's so much habitat in here that does not have fish in it. Uh, we've got shallow right. waters that enable mosquitoes to thrive. Yeah. But not in here. This little pool does not have mosquito larvae in it. Yeah. Because of the mosquito fish. So humans need them little mosquito fish. They're a valuable tool. Unfortunately, we've introduced mosquito fish into parts of the American West where they're not native. And mm. creating problems for lots of other animals. Yeah, like what's the problem that, that they would be? Well, they compete with other fish uh, that okay. have very specific ecological needs. The one being the uh, desert pupfish, which is a, a small fish that lives in desert pools and, and the mosquito fish gets around from one pond or lake or stream to other bodies of water during flood events and can compete with native fishes that don't want mosquito mm. fish eating their food. Yeah. <laughs> and you can see that is our natal sand. That's mm -hmm. beach sand just like you find down at the coast. Mm -hmm. And if you swim out into the river, which again, it's in the middle about 20 feet deep, swim down to the bottom, grab up a fistful of sediment you'll see that it is white sand. This is mm -hmm. kind of muddy looking only because of the tannin. It's ground to shellfish and... No, this stuff. is quartz. Ah, This is right. all quartz. Okay. I love this little beach. 